this the stories are true yeah I uh, made some actual like space stuff uh here let me show you first of all if you fly up 500 um 500 blocks high you will encounter this Ta da look there's the earth uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna try to make like a little like a sort of transition where the background gradually fades to this but I'll, I can do that later um what I have now is I can I, there's really cool to show you um you might be wondering how are people supposed to be building stuff in space if well there's there's I didn't increase the height limit and it's true I didn't increase the height limit but did do some interesting things so but I do have a very clever method of allowing you to place blocks in space that I'll show you later but let me show you something this is a pressure helmet looks pretty cool doesn't it it also has this neat little overlay in the top left corner that shows you how much oxygen is stored in the helmet the helmet is crafted like this um and you might be wondering what are these these are pressure tanks um this there's an empty pr so far we have these pressure tanks what i'm going to use them for is they're going to be for storing gases just like how we have buckets for liquids these pressure tanks are going to be for gases um credit to silent for the texture um you guys um if you please can feel free to send me some textures if you feel you have a better texture for something than I have already made. Um. So, so far there's no way to get oxygen in or out of a pressure tank. But let me just show you how it happens. Because, like, look, if you just right-click with it, it will it won't do anything. Same with the empty one. Now, let, but let me show you what, what happens if you right click with an oxygen pressure tank while wearing a pressure helmet see that now as you can see in the corner there is a thousand millibuckets of oxygen if you don't know what millibuckets are they're just a standard fluid amount measurement that all mods use or most mods that have like fluid transport they're standardized by forge anyways um you might be wondering how is this useful if you can't like do stuff in space anyways um let me show you um i haven't gotten a way to get here yet but let me just give myself this effect and Ow, I appear to have died. Anyways, welcome to orbit. Here in orbit, a few things are different. Um, what I plan on doing is making it so that plants cannot survive. But right now, that is not the case. You can place plants perfectly fine up here. Um, I also plan on obviously removing that big ugly border um but let me show you some of the things about orbit the main thing is that as you probably guess yep you can without the pressure helmet you cannot breathe you just die 
So I spawn real quick. If I take off this, you'll see I start taking damage rapidly. I also plan on reducing grab. There we go. And as you can see, the pressure helmet stores the amount of oxygen. Mm, I'm going to have and invent some way of extracting the oxygen from the helmet. But as you can see, gravity is different up here. Um, you have less gravity since you're farther away from the Earth. Um, also, um, whoa, what, wait, right, 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 when you fall from orbit, like I just nearly did, um, then, then, then currently you just die of void damage because you fall into the void. I'm thinking of having it, uh, like, do fire damage and then teleport you to, like, or like, the overworld. Um, now... Also, there's the sun. It's kind of exactly in the same position where it would be down on Earth if if there was like space to see it. I'm gonna try to position it better. Also, um, this view won't like change, so it's not like. A anyways. So yeah, currently, if, if this oxygen runs out, it does still make you take damage. But, th this isn't all I have to show you. Um, Ta-da! This is the moon. And this was the thing I showcased in, on the, in the community tab. Um, you can see the earth, but you can also see the sun much better. Um, and also, as you can see, the gravity is even lower. Um, this block, by the way, is lunar regolith, and it's a sandish block. Underneath it is the anorthosite, which has neither of them have any uses right now. But you can craft the regolith back into a block and place it back. This is iron, iron ore, but you need a shovel to extract it. Um, shovel, you can extract it. it. Gives you a single iron nugget. So that's how the that works. So you can get iron. Whoa! Wait! 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 So yeah, this is, and also ca caves, caves generating like the ones in the overworld generate here. This one just happens to be pretty big. Most of them aren't this big. Cave generation is identical from the overworld. It was just ripped from the overworld. Um. And so, yeah, that's all I had to show you for today. Um. I really like how the earth kind of glows a little. Um. But yeah, this place also does have its own day-night cycle. As you can see, it's like darker now. Um, apparently a lunar day is 30 Earth days in real life. So I'm gonna try to mimic that somehow with like maybe like a variable or something. But um, until then, the cycles match the uh, Earth. Um. Which is pretty, well, well, unrealistic, so I'm going to try to change that. Either way, this is all I had to show you. Bye.